Hi, this is Fred from The Joy of Syntax and English in Colour with some German pronunciation drill. I had a session with my dear friend and student, Victor, and we practiced a sentence. And while we were practicing, I became even more aware of a few things that I'm doing that I think are worth sharing. And so I'll quickly share my screen. I've already opened up the document in question. Okay, here was this, um, were the sentences that we practiced, and I'll read them to you, and then I'll tell you why I think they're interesting. Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. Das ist total ärgerlich, weil das mit unserem neuen Auto passiert ist. Aber wir haben Glück gehabt, denn niemand ist verletzt worden. Okay, I counted that there are nine R's in the writing. However, I think that I only pronounce, hang on, I think I only pronounce one of these R's. And then also there are some other things. Well, let's go through this with the IPA. Iris hatte einen, kann man sagen, einen, so it's, a, it's the indefinite article, einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. But I personally don't pronounce the E's there. I mean, if the einen blöden, they become schwas anyway in pronunciation. But I don't think that I pronounce them. I swallow them up and I turn the, but then it's not the same as simply saying ein. Also ein blöder Autounfall, then that's the nominative case. But that's different from einen oder einen. So I drop the E, but then I don't drop the other N, but the second N becomes a so-called syllabic consonant. It becomes, the N itself fills up a whole syllable. So the intonation and the length and, yeah, the sound structure of, the, of this case is different from the subject case. So einen becomes ein. So we, and check out the difference here, I'll print, now I'll write down in parentheses, ein versus einen. But in, in connected speech, I don't say einen, I say ein, ein, ein. So ein, ein. So I basically say the two ends together, but I have an intonation wave on them. So I, <laughs> so I, I, Iris hatte ein, <clears throat> so I say I, so I actually sometimes even drop this N and replace it by an intonation thing. I, so that's crazy, isn't it? So it could be einen oder it can be einen. <laughs> Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall. Blöden. Blöden. So actually here I'm, I amalgamate the D like dolphin and the N like, um, like in German Nilfeld or in English Numbat. I amalgamate these two sounds. N, n. Mm. Blöd. Mm. So the, you know, the D usually is a plosive. If I say it in isolation, it's D. If I say dolphin or del delfin, it's dolphin, delfin. So there is release of the stop. But with blöden, we have nasal release. So the air that would be released as in dun, D through the mouth is released through the nasal through the nose and then i i sit on those so blöden iris hatte einen blöden autounfall im schnee and i would love to encourage you to keep thinking of language in terms of music and when you play a musical piece you link notes together, you slur them often. And I would like you to slur the words into each other um, 
can connect them. And, you know, of course, there are quite a number of voiceless consonants in German, but German isn't quite as harsh as people think. Of course, it differs with different speakers, but um, just try holding that thought and testing it out. So we try, we try, we somehow crank on the motor and then we move. So try to speak very slowly and link the words together. Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. That's a good exercise. And then you speed it up. Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. And then when you're very advanced, you can speed it up totally. Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. But you don't have to speak fast. And you don't have to sound like a German. You don't have to sound like me. But I think when you play with language in this way and when you listen to me, you will be better able to understand German. And the goal of all these drills is not that you later talk like me or that you have perfect pronunciation. I must stress that time and time again. The goal is to make you good listeners and to create flow in your speech. If you feel comfortable with German and if it flows, then you can communicate. Communication and flow are the goal. So, Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. Das ist total ärgerlich. Now, das ist, so das ist total. I actually think that I usually drop the T. I don't say das ist total ärgerlich. I say das ist, das ist total. So I actually, das ist total. I drop this T and link the T and the, the S and the T together. Das ist total. Then I don't have a post fecalic R here. Ergeilich. It's a, it's a mix in between a schwa and a deep schwa. Ergeilich. This is definitely a deep schwa, the second one. The E and the R in final at the end of a syllable is A. Erga. Der Erga. Nicht der Erger. Erga. Erga. And some people say Erga and they have a little bit of a velar R or an approximant, but I don't usually have that, I think. Er, 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 ärger. I have a schwa, er, er, die schwa, ärger, ärgerlich. Das ist total ärgerlich. Das ist total ärgerlich. Weil das mit unserem. Now, of course, some people might say unserem oder unserm. But I say unserm when I speak quickly, I think. Unserm. Neuen, so neuen, so I actually can say neuen sometimes, oder neuen, 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 <laughs> often neuen, neuen. So sometimes you hear a little bit of a J glide, sometimes you hear a schwa, neuen, and neuen. And sometimes it's sort of swallowing this all up. I can't quite identify what I'm doing, neuen, auto, passiert is. I don't pronounce this R, I think, passiert. Passiert, passiert is. And you don't need to pronounce the T because you can confuse that. Whenever, you know, when I say, ich bin, du bist, er ist. People do, usually, I think, pronounce the T in bist because otherwise you can confuse it with bis. But it, the T in ist is often dropped. Is. Das ist aber schön. I often drop it. So, das ist total ärgerlich, weil das mit unserem neuen Auto passiert ist. Aber wir haben Glück gehabt. Haben oder haben. Haben, haben, haben. So, somehow there is this little cracking noise. Mm, 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 mm. With the Wielem, I, I just somehow create a little... Plosion with the Wielem, I think. Haben, 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 haben. And definitely I have a syllabic M. So, aber wir haben Glück gehabt, denn niemand ist verletzt worden. I definitely don't pronounce the R here. I say worden. <clears throat> I just use the R to lengthen the vowel. I often drop this, the schwa here and just have a syllabic N.
So, aber wir haben Glück gehabt, haben, haben, aber wir haben Glück gehabt and sometimes you can even drop the B and it just becomes hum. Aber wir haben Glück gehabt, aber wir haben Glück gehabt. So actually, should add that here. Hang on, let me add that. Sometimes you, you in, in connected speech, this becomes hum. Aber wir haben Glück gehabt, denn niemand ist verletzt worden. Okay, Iris hatte einen blöden Autounfall im Schnee. Das ist total ärgerlich, weil das mit unserem neuen Auto passiert ist. Aber wir haben Glück gehabt, denn niemand ist verletzt worden. Okay, I hope this helps you and I hope this was fun for you. Practice makes purpose, don't despair. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. Okay, have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Oops, I need to stop record. Bye-bye.